Hey, what's up everyone? Kobanamani456 here today, presenting to you all a new video for the channel. And I know it's been a while, my apologies. I just gotta say this right now. Currently recovering from sickness, and then also I've got a lot of extremely overwhelming personal, you know, life issues right now, which I can't really go into detail right now because we are on a video about Sonic. Sonic is all about positivity, so I'm gonna save it for later when I can actually talk about it. But in the meantime, let's actually talk about this E3 footage that I have as it is kind of, you know, overdue, but I can give my opinions on what I think about this game, since I did actually get some hands-on time, as you can see right there, styling in that nice pink hat. And we are playing in City Heights with Modern Sonic, as we just found out recently that this stage is actually not Park Avenue. Park Avenue is for the custom character, but uh, definitely wanted to play Modern Sonic first, just, just because I am a huge Modern Sonic fan, and really wanted to see how he controlled, considering that, you know, whenever we've played Modern Sonic in the other games, there have been quite a few changes, very slight ones, but it still kind of sticks to that formula. That's basically how Sonic Forces plays. So, um, you know, there's a boost right there. It's not, um, what is it, as overpowered as it was in, say, like, Generations or um, Unleashed or anything like that. But uh, we do have the boost return, the homing attack as well. Sadly, there is no drift, so that's kind of interesting. Um, I don't know if that's something that you unlock later in the game. Maybe there's skills or something like that. But for what I played, that is not present. So one thing I have to say that um, feels a lot different is that uh, Sonic's movement in the beginning, as you all could see right there, he was kind of like going back and forth, left and right. It was really, really awkward. And um, I don't know if that was due to the Switch controller or something, but besides that, it basically plays exactly the same as other modern Sonic games, though I will say that the air boost is actually super overpowered. It, it sends them at like a really, really weird angle, but it has a lot of range. So I really do like the new feel of the, um, the uh, air boost, but uh, oh wow. Okay, so yeah, I completely forgot. Since I'm a Sonic fan and I know how to play modern Sonic games, I blazed through this um, literally at Sonic speeds and ran into Shadow. So Shadow is going to be returning returning into this game along with other, uh, you know, villains in the series. I have actually still not watched that trailer. I don't know if I'm going to give reactions. Maybe I should. Let me know down below. But um, right now I'm asking uh, the Sega representative if I could play another stage because I'm playing this on the Nintendo Switch. And the Switch version plays at, I think, 720p, 30 frames. And you can kind of see some of the uh, graphical... Um, you know, differences between this and like the PlayStation 4 Pro version that was at display at E3 as well, but the line was a lot longer. This line was actually really short. It only took like maybe 30 minutes or whatever. And since I was just trying to get gameplay footage, I wanted to focus on um, just doing that at least, kind of like getting the feel of the game. But like I said, the Switch controller felt weird, so that's why it kind of looked a little bit, um, you know, all over the place in the beginning. Y'all were probably like, oh my God, do we have another Shadow the Hedgehog? <laughs> but no, 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 it's not that slippery. But we are actually about to play the Avatar stage, so I guess I should go ahead and give my opinions about that. Um, and I'm definitely going to go a bit more in depth um, in the future with, uh, you know, other videos as well, because I do want to actually have, like, an um, actual discussion video about this. Possibly talk to um, some other Sonic channels, like maybe Tails channel or someone else like that, so... But anyway, here we are playing with the custom hero, and I have the lightning ability equipped. So it kind of acts like a whip, as you can see, you know, he just kind of whips it all over the place. And it's very weird, because I had to get used to the controls um, with how to actually pull it out and whatnot, so that's why I'm like sliding all over the place and whatnot. But I'm just trying to make sure that I don't at least get hit. So the custom hero has a grapple. Um, he does not have a homing attack, but it works very similarly to the homing attack, to where he kind of catapults himself into enemies. Now right there, so, as you can see, rings are actually attracted to me. I believe that is an ability for this character, as different types of animals have different abilities, like some, you know, keep rings and whatnot better, and then some actually attract rings and other things like that. But um, right now, I can't use the Wisp on ability because I actually have not collected the Wisp until, right here, as you all can see, I can equip it. And then I can use the uh, Wisp Spawn ability, and it basically allows me to do the light speed attack, kind of like how um, it works in, I guess, uh, Sonic Colors. Now, right here, for some reason, my button did not work, so that's why I died. It was really, really weird. I kept pressing the Wit button, but nothing came out. So, you know, just an early build, most likely, but it gave me a chance to actually kind of execute the light speed dash a bit better there with the Lightning Wisp. But I will say that the custom hero. I feel like it plays very similarly to like 
the Sonic Storybook series, mostly Sonic and the Black Knight. So if you liked the controls in Sonic and the Black Knight, that's what it feels like. You know, the character still runs fast. It doesn't. He doesn't have the same abilities or you know, like a spin jump and all that stuff. Like say, uh, you know, modern Sonic. But he does have the speed of Sonic characters in Sonic games. But his jump and movement and attacks really remind me like what Sonic and the Black Knight played as. So. Um, yeah, you just keep the speed and then the attacks they don't really have too much precision or anything like that As you can see I'm kind of like going all over the place whenever I press the button There's no real sense of direction like I said, but um, you know, you just keep your speed and you just keep attacking and Yeah, it, it's just it's kind of like a cool little gimmick You know, there are a lot of people in the fan base that really really did like you know the extra gimmick gameplay styles that were added to the series in games like the storybook series the werehog or you know, other games. So I feel like the custom hero is supposed to cater to that audience. The audience that, you know, there are people who are like, oh yes, I'm a modern Sonic fan. There are people who are like, oh yes, I'm a classic Sonic fan. And then there are people who are like, I really liked these other games in the series, like Sonic and the Black Knight, or maybe like Sonic Heroes and stuff like that. So I feel like the custom hero is supposed to cater to that audience. The audience that played more of the games in the, uh, 2000s to like 2010 basically so right now we got ourselves uh, my boy tails channel he's about to play the classic sonic stage because i could only play two stages so yeah it was really really short as you all can see right there because i just kind of blazed through the stages wasn't really trying to explore i just wanted to give good gameplay because i felt like there were so many people who um uh what is it there were so many people who just tried to uh explore and try and extend their gameplay demo as much as possible and you know while i definitely would have liked that i prefer going through sonic games as fast as possible so i mean that's what you're supposed to do now right here as you all can see we have a little uh call back to the original um sonic one boss but then all of a sudden Dr. Eggman just decides to let loose the Egg Dragoon, one of the final bosses, as like the first boss for Classic Sonic and Green Hill Zone. Like, what? <laughs> like, it does, it's crazy. Like, that just kind of lets you know that, okay, Dr. Eggman is about to go extremely bonkers in the next few games because you go off against the uh, Sonic 2 final boss in uh, Sonic Mania for Green Hill Zone. So it's really cool to see. Now, one thing you have to um, keep in mind is that you actually cannot retrieve rings. Um, in any of the stages in Sonic Forces because Zuka, you know, really wanted to listen to the fans So he decided, you know what? I'm gonna actually make this game entirely for the fans Listen to everybody's complaints and whatnot and people said, you know, Sonic games were too easy and all that stuff So he decided, you know what? We are going to make sure that classic Sonic cannot retrieve his rings on this stage and that's why uh, you know, Matt here is like shaking. He's trembling right now. He's trying to avoid the. He's trying to avoid the the um the missiles and the uh, artillery right there. And yeah, it kind of throws you off because you're so used to being able to you know collect those rings or whatever. But I guess it's kind of like Sonic the Black Knight because you actually can't retrieve rings in that game either. So that's kind of interesting. But um, it definitely makes the game more challenging, and uh, it makes you you know, definitely time things more carefully because, you know, you fight this boss or whatever, it's basically like the Sonic 1 boss, the first one, but, you know, back then, I could just like jump into it, get hit, it's like, okay, whatever, I can grab my ring and all that stuff. You can't really do that here. So, that's something to keep in mind. Sonic Forces is going to be a lot more difficult, and that's why um, the custom characters actually have that special ability to where some of them will actually retreat, um, will actually be able to retain a ring if they do get hit, so... That uh, definitely makes it more, um, you know, it definitely makes it an asset for the custom characters. Um, since, you know, different types of species will be able to have different types of abilities. So Classic Sonic here actually plays exactly like Generations Classic Sonic. No idea why they didn't try to go for the uh, Mania style, which is more like the Christian Whitehead engine. But they decided to stay more faithful to Generations. And the only thing that they've really added for Classic Sonic is a drop dash, which is pretty cool because the drop dash is actually kind of broken. It's really, really strong in this game. You all thought that the, you know, uh, what is it? You all thought the spin dash was crazy in Sonic Generations? It's about to be even crazier now, now that you have the drop dash, because this man will just catapult to like top speed extremely fast and just by landing, just by landing, he goes top speed. 
so it's almost like Classic Sonic has like a booster, like the infinite spin dash like how you have in a Sonic Lost World. But anyway, there we go. That is it for Classic Sonic right there. Um, sadly, wasn't able to go into as much detail as I wanted to with um, the footage that I do have, but that is it, you know. We'll uh, definitely be talking about Sonic Forces more in another video soon. And uh, I also have some Sonic Mania footage along with some Super Mario Odyssey footage that I will be uploading um, over the next few days while I do try and kind of, uh, you know, stock up some videos and whatnot. Because like I said, personal life has just been extremely overwhelming if you follow my twitter you'll kind of see i've been having some freak out moments just with like my mental health and everything and i, I really don't want to post bad content for you guys and i, I want to make sure that i'm in the right state of mind when i do and i'm kind of I'm kind of getting back into it a bit i still got a lot on my shoulders i got a lot of things to take care of and right now like i said can't really explain too much just yet just because of the circumstances that it is but once I do get some things resolved, I can finally tell you all kind of like what's going on because I don't want you all thinking I'm just trying to be absent or lazy or anything like that. You know, I really do care about you guys. I want to give you all the best content I can possibly give, but I got to make sure to that I'm in the uh, best mental state to actually do that. Plus, I am sick right now, but it's kind of going away. So that's why I'm recording right now. But as always, thank you all so much for your support. Thank you for your patience. Really looking forward to Sonic Forces and Sonic Mania and discussing it with you all. And um, like I said, um, or actually no, I didn't say that. But if you all would like to see uh, live reactions to the trailer before, I know it probably doesn't matter because it's been so long, but I actually still have not watched that trailer because I haven't really been following gaming news like I should, but you know, that's about to change very soon. So just let me know down below. Leave a like and a comment if you're excited about seeing videos return once again and uh, enjoy this video. And I'll try and keep you all posted about other things as well very soon. Anyway, thanks again for watching. See you all, have a good day. Peace, Republic of Kobanamites, and take care.